Jerusalem was not born through war, and I love that. However, when I looked at the history, <laughs> Muhammad was a very violent and warmongering man. And oh, sir, please, I don't, I don't want, I don't want to, um, I don't want to insult your prophet either. But I want you to, I want you to see him as he is through history and science and the archaeolo, uh, the the archaeological, that we have today. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um. When I, when I, the final straw was when I read that, um, that Muhammad. Um, was allowed. I read that Muhammad had allowed um, uh, men in war to take um, already married women as their wives, um, and I said, "Well, surely there must be some kind of context for that. Sur surely Muhammad wouldn't encourage the rape." of married women by his own people. If he had the command, surely he would have stopped them. And I read um, every... This is in Sahib. the Quran you read? Yes. Okay. Um, I read... Oh. It's, 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 I think it's... I, I, I don't remember. I'm sorry. I wish I could... That's fine. I'm so sorry. Just carry on. Um, and, I, and I ask questions and I... Oh. I'm sorry. No, sorry. And I was heartbroken she, to even learn that. Sir, please... Please do not mistake my tears for manipulation. No, 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 no. I'm not I don't talk about your tears. But you said Muhammad is violent. But can you let us even, 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 uh, even the prophet, the prophet who came after Moses, Quran. he used the violences also. Please carry on. Please carry on. Yes. Uh, Jerusalem. Uh, Quran, the Quran portrays Muhammad as a peaceful and mighty man who enacted lots of mercy and was and was the true the true man of faith, the true Muslim, the man that all Muslims should em should should emulate. But if the, I was I was I stumbled when I saw the history of, of the historical Muhammad and how and many commentators who who said that even then in the context that he even encouraged them to take the to take uh, uh, war captive women as their wives and um, so that was not the Muhammad. Are we allowed Muhammad. to answer you? Or what? Are we allowed to? Answer yes, you, of course. Please do. I, I, these are questions that 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 led me away from um, Islam, and I can tell you how I was led to Christianity. Um, but I know that um, you clearly you would have to be you would have to be convinced away from Islam in order to do that. So yes, please. So what please were you before you came to Christianity? Mm -hmm. Were you another faith before Christianity? No, um, I was. I was a nihilist, which means that I believe that there was no meaning in this universe, that we are all flesh and uh, brain chemicals, and that and every thought that we make is just a result of what we ate for dinner. Because if there is no such thing as a world beyond this flesh, then how can I trust anything I think? Um, then I... Um, okay, yes, yes, I was, and then she becomes a Christian, okay? No, sir. Please do not put words into my mouth. Okay. Um, I, I must understand. Yeah. Um, I, I was convinced that the world of nihilism um, explained everything. And however, there were some things that it couldn't explain, like the feeling of love. How could that just be a biological sensation of a sex drive? The feeling of that... The, the desire that I had for a god, I was convinced by that C.S. Lewis's argument that um, we come out of the womb desiring food, which must mean that food somehow exists. And if we all desire God, then I'm sh then maybe surely God must exist. I'm not sure what I think of that argument now, but that is what led me to pursue right, no religion. So we go back yes. to the points you brought up. So the flip, flip side of your points is that Jesus is peace, isn't it? So you found peace with Jesus. I found I found that the Bible, that the Old Testament and New Testament, through history and archaeology, was the most accurate thing that I could say was the Word of God. It was written by 33 different authors who all have this almost from different cultures, from different genders, from different from different eras of the world, from different nations, from different tribes and tongues and languages, and all of these people had the same experience with this God. And then. I was I read through history the accuracy of the Old Testament and the accuracy of the New Testament and I uh, I discovered um, the historical method which is used to test ancient documents and to see if they were truly written by the people that they were written by 
if they are actually the same words that were written back then, if they were uh, were written by trustworthy people by who were eyewitnesses, if those eyewitnesses' accounts can be even trusted. And I was convinced that the, that the Bible was the Word of God. So I started reading it, and... <laughs> And the worst thing that is in the Bible is that it demands it demands something that no other religion demands. I've found that all religions have I, I've been, many people I'm sure have told you that all all religions are the same, right? Well, yeah, and, and, and that's what I believed a lot. Um, well, I, and all religions I think are very are the same in that they all have like the Quran, uh, the, the five pillars, or like Buddhism with the eight ways. They all ha or they or Judaism, the Ten Commandments. They all have a set not set number of rules that will help you reach heaven, enlightenment, oneness with the universe, whatever. Um, and they all they all rely on your effort, on your pulling yourself up by your bootstraps and being a good person, changing your life. It is you who changes you. And I believe that that is the gospel that most that I believe every in the world believes. However, when I read the Bible, I see that I am incapable of making myself a better person. I am at my core. I'm, I feel the spiritual superiority, the pride that I am better than you because I know more. Or I feel um, jealousy for things that I, that, that is, and, and I hurt people and I, and I am messed up. Thank you very much. I, I really appreciate that. Um, and I knew that no matter what, um, that I would not be able to uh, earn my way to rightness with God. Um, but thankfully, the Bi what the Bible preaches is that God did not love you because you are good. Because God loves you, you can be good. And when Jesus, when Jesus saves you and rescues you, you cannot help but love Him and desire and to, I can to tell change. You, sir, I am, I am also a Christian. I am not. I am not this. I'm a Catholic. I'm not the same denomination as this girl here. Excuse me. And one conversation. Can we have one conversation? You read in Quran that he's a violent guy and this. I didn't read that in the Quran. I read that in history. But I agree. In the Quran, he seems like a perfect man. He seems like the person that everyone would want to be. But I found. But could you could you help me because yes yes. Thank you. I mean, you've made a very good case, an emotional case for your. I'm sorry for the emotion. No 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 no. An emotional case for your. But um, I want to hear what the brother have to say, and maybe um, if you allow me, I just have some points because he made very interesting points. But let's hear what the brother has to say first. Firstly, when when Christians compare Muhammad to Jesus, we have to bear something in mind. You claim Jesus is God. Or you don't, Sir, right? please don't. I I don't I don't I don't. No, want but let, to let go me in. make my point, and okay. then you can. So you claim Jesus is God, we don't claim Muhammad is God. Yes. Firstly, you, you're comparing your God to my prophet. No, I'm not. Let me carry on and then you can rebut. I, I'm not doing that though, sorry. Can I, can I, just I think you misunderstand my argument. What I, I want to know... Can I carry on and then yes. you can... Yeah. So Muhammad, when he came, he was a ruler of his land. Was Jesus a ruler? As part of ruling the land, you have crime and punishment. You have to deal with daily, daily business. He has to decide over judgments that people bring to him. Right. Part of the judgment is also punishment to run the country. So when he decrees something, it is according to the Quran, which is also according to your old testament. When you say the wives, when you say that you are allowed to take the wives of the people who died in the battle, it's also in Deuteronomy chapter 22. Exact same yes, verse. Yes, can chapter I, can 22 I verse 10. Yes. Sorry, let me finish. What does the verse say? That if you see a woman, if you see a woman and you like her in the war, you take her home, you take her home, let her mourn for a month. Mourn what? The death of the husband, father, mother, and then you can take her as a wife. So when we say that Muhammad did this, we need to look at your Bible as well. Right? So we need to be have the same standard. Although we only claim Muhammad is a, is a human being. 
was it just yes. a messenger? Yeah. Right. yeah. It wasn't God, like you said. I know, Jesus, I don't say do you, that. Do you believe Jesus is God? Yes. Right. This is what I mean. I mean but I don't that. believe that Muhammad claimed uh, let's to go back. Let's go back to the violence in with Benu Qurayda. Sir, in um, can, I, can I address the... Before the, you address, you made the point. Sorry, sorry, before you address, because you made a lot of interesting yeah. points, a lot of them. So yeah, it is only fair, it is only fair, right. as Muslims, if we have our say on this issue, right? So, oh, yeah. um, carry on and yeah. then... So, for we'll example, Banu Qurayda, you mentioned yeah. Muhammad Allah, the killing of, they say, 600 or a figure that's been plucked from the skies. There weren't even 600 men in that place for Banu Qurayda. What happened with them? They made a treaty to support the state that Muhammad was running for Islam. Imagine the United States, Trump, does a treaty with Canada. Oh, I'm sorry, let, yeah. let me make it. Trump makes a treaty with Canada that when England attacks them, Canada will help USA. When England attacked, Canada went with the USA. So what would Trump do to them? To do to them? I can never right. predict anything Trump does. But let, let's, <laughs> I think people watching this video will know the point I'm making. But what happened here? When the Meccans came to attack the Muslims in Medina, this Banu Qurayda sided with the Meccans, already outnumbering the Muslims. <laughs> So when, when the Muslim, uh, the, the pagans the went back to Mecca, now there has Mecca to be a judgment for treason against the state. And this is what happened. I wanted to bear this in mind. The Banu Qurayda leaders, they asked for one of their allies to judge them, not Muhammad. Remember, Muhammad is a state leader here, the leader of the state. He, as such, should be judging them. But he gave them what they wished. You want your ally to judge you? No problem, you can have him. And what did Sa'ad bin Mu'ad? Who's the one who judged them? What did he use? Deuteronomy chapter 20, verse 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Um, sir, I understand what you're referencing. So, if you have an issue with what Sa'ad did to the Banu Qurayda, then you have an issue with your Bible. I don't. Okay. Because just, I, can... I just want to add a few yes. points. You can respond to these points uh, in, in a moment. As I said, you know, a long time ago, I used to visit a website called Answering Muslims by David Wood. Um, What's it called? Answering Muslims by David Wood. And I used to love his arguments in the sense that Christians are very familiar in using it. So every Christian I used to speak to is actually an exact replicative statement from that website. So the statements about, unfortunately, what I've seen from you as well, I don't I don't say you've got, actually got it from them, reflects, you know, Mia Bil Mia is an Arabic, like 100% of, of, of the material that is found within there. The only problem is, when I used to read that and I wanted to see what the Muslim had to respond, I never found Christians actually reading the response in response to those arguments that are made. So many things you said about historicity and you know, the Christopher's character, all of these issues. So if I were to ask you, okay, did you study, I'm sure you studied a lot because that's where you're coming out from, in the university settings, maybe in, in, a, in a university where these studies are made by academics, or you learn them from books here and there. You mentioned one of the books by C.S. Lewis. Interesting Christians do read it. Um, when I, when I, when I, I'm not going to ask you. Okay, let's leave it to your knowledge base. Whatever you've read, um, you can correct me if I'm if I'm um, saying something totally uh, unrealistic. Muslims often go to certain things about Christian argument and they don't bother also just, to read what the Christians have to respond from their academic exegetes and so on. So if you were to look at some of the materials that has explained, yes. fine. So I would have expected that you have also done the same for the things that you've looked at because you have made up your mind yeah. that you've examined the Quran and the Islam and the Prophet and 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 you've examined the historicity of the Bible and Jesus and Christianity and then you found convincing Christianity. So if we were now to go into example by example, um, I would ask you, for example, okay, what is the basis for you're actually making that claim? Because you found the Muslim scholarly response inadequate or because the response doesn't exist. So let's give you one example about this issue is about the Prophet marrying someone uh, in the battlefield and you amounted to as a rape. And the example you just highlighted a little bit. Where did you actually study this from and which scholarly material have you read in response by the Muslims? Yeah. Then we can continue. Yeah. Yes, um, so Imam... Um, oh man, 
I'm sorry. I read it out of a book of a commentary of the Quran made, written by Imam. Hmm. Amen. Uh, I'm sorry. Um, I, I really Amen. wish I was at school. We are. And, and you're right. Um, I think a lot of me is is mistaken to think of it as a rape. Um, no, no, no. But Where have you read and the responses by the Muslims? Because from my... From my from primarily, primarily, <laughs> most of my research for, the, uh, for, for Muslim academic thought comes from books that I've read and imams that I've spoken so to. So which particular I've, primary I've sources have you read? I've studied it. No, which particular books? Primarily, Islamic sources of Iraq. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, commentaries. Like? I don't have them with me. I'm sorry. No, no, think about something you've read because if it's something that's convinced you, you should have read. Is it from, for example, Imam Jabir al Tabari? You know, he's, he's written a Tafsir al-Tabari, but only only part of it is translated in English. So, unless you have a very good knowledge of Arabic language, yeah. you don't. Okay, so it couldn't have been from there. Um, yeah. Ibn Kathir is available, but he doesn't mention any of these things that you say that you tend to not to read. So it cannot be from there. By that way, as far as I know, part of it's translated, it cannot be from there. Zamakhshari, likewise, coming from there. Ar-Razi, not from there. So I can, give you, I can give you all of these names, and you won't find anything that you say you have read is from there. So it cannot be from our primary material. The response by the Muslims you've read from which 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 probably um, academic sources have you read? You've got me. I cannot cite my sources. So you see, when somebody is convinced, our conviction must come from based on knowledge rather than emotion. You're right. I can cry at like some people do in the in the uh, uh, passionate individual. You know what? May God make you a strong person, and uh, may God guide you to Islam and make you even stronger. Um, but these are our emotional basis for accepting something, right? We have to have an intellectual basis. Right. So rejecting the truth has to be done with, with, with evidence. You're right. Right. So, for example, if we say the example of so many versions of the Quran you came to know, right? Um, is it possible that you've read this again um, in, in a Thunder films, YouTube videos of videos from Speaker's Corner? Um, so, so okay, good, very good. So, where have you read them? Because. I'm very much into this subject. Um, you know, I have examined it in depth. Um, so, which material sources have you come to know about these things? Well, um, I apologize because you're right. I should not rely on emotion here. I should rely on scholarly articles mm -hmm. and I should rely on, on real people who have studied what they've said. And I apologize for, for making it seem like I... Um, like I have studied because I haven't. You're right. Um, so what? What person, led you then? What did the you study? One person that I can, I, that I remember their name um, because I, I, I was able to read it in English, um, and and he has a, a, a little bit more uh, also like Ameri American, Americanized name. Um, is Nabil Qureshi. I'm sure you've heard of him. Who was a friend of David Cook, David Wood once. They were working together, yes. uh -huh. and then he left with his own apolitical ministry. So the material, obviously, the same material that I'm talking about. Now these are materials by Christian apologists to respond to Muslims, right? Well, so it was, it's written, not it was written by Nabil Qureshi himself depicting Nabil Qureshi, his of faith, Nabil Qureshi is just like another, if I say for example, have you heard of a Muslim apologist for say Sabir Ali, right? Or have you heard of Muslim apologist called Adnan Rashid? Yes. The, yeah? Okay, fine. So these are Muslims, right? going to tell you about Islam and also respond to Christianity. So to learn about Christianity, are you going to go to Shabir Ali and Adnan Rashid, for example? What? To learn about Christianity, the Christian argument and You're the Christian right. response? I shouldn't learn about, I shouldn't learn about, the, I shouldn't learn about Islam from a Christian and I shouldn't learn yeah. about Christianity from a Muslim. Yeah, I'm You're not right. saying Shabir Ali and Adnan Rashid haven't done very good works on this. In, in fact, they have very good materials they have produced for both sides of, 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 of the people from Muslims yeah. and non-Muslims.